Vai de rock. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Harley Rogers and today we are doing a bit of a fun, I guess you could call it fun, 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 fun mm -hmm. challenge. It's called the shades I have never used. Is that a black? Okay, I thought that was a black mark on my grey heart. Fun challenge called shades I've never used on my face. So basically I'll be using different shades that I would technically, technically, what's the word? That I would... I basically just never use on my face. Um, for example, like a darker foundation, or different eyeshadows, different blush, um, different highlight, different lipstick, which I'll be doing today. Um, I would start with my brows, but I generally don't have anything that I can use for my brows. I could use a powder, but my like I have like no brow hairs whatsoever, so like you wouldn't be able to see it. It would just look horrific. I mean, maybe it would be funny. We are going to start off, well, I don't have any shades that don't match my concealer, that don't, you know, running out of concealer, I need to buy some more today. What we're going to do is, we are going to carve out my brows with just a bit of concealer, and also drag it down to the whole lid. This is a very exciting part of the challenge, I know. But it will get more interesting and I will look worse and worse as the video goes on. I mean, I already look worse already, so maybe it'll be a slight improvement. It's really weird, I used to be allergic to this concealer, but now nothing really happens. My eyes used to go puffy and like, swollen and like crusty, but nothing really, nothing really happens anymore. So, I was looking through my eyeshadow palettes and I was like, what shades do I never use? So I thought I'd dip into my Morphe 35B palette because it's full of crazy, wacky colours. And I was like, what colour would I never wear on my lids? It's like, say, like, to go out and like, I'd do it for, like, an eyeshadow look, but I wouldn't do it to wear it out. And I decided that colour would be purple. So I was thinking, like, maybe green, but I was like, do you know what? I would wear green out for, like, a bit of gold. But purple... Probably not. I'm gonna have to clean all my brushes after this because they're gonna get messy. So we're just gonna dip into this deepest, darkest purple shade right here. And then just pack this in, into? No, onto the lid. So, it's now 2020. Oh, did you hear my throat? That was grim. It's now 2020. Um. It's been a decade, and what a decade it's been. I mean, in a bad way. <laughs> it's not been great. I mean, it's been fun. It's been fun. But it's not been, like, amazing. I mean, I've had some great memories and stuff. But all in all, it's been a bit of a struggle, sadly. Um, but that's just the way life goes. So hopefully this next decade will be a better one. I hope everyone had a good decade, a good life. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know in the comments if it does, or if it has. Okay, so that's packed on, and I mean, I already look like, like a, oh, my mirror nearly fell. I already look like a evil villain of some sort. Then I'm going to take this purple shade, which is just above the dark shade, and blend it out. So what did you all do for New Year's? Did you get lily lit lit? Or did you stay in? Did you not have a drink? I sure had a drink. I went to a party, my friend's party. It was like family and friends. And it was really fun. We went to the pub for a bit. And then went back to the house, had some food, had some more drinks. And then watched the countdown together with some champers. Some very nice champers. I feel really scary. Like, I just genuinely wouldn't wear this colour out. You know what I mean? I hope you can bear with me as well. I just spout my tea. That's so grim. I hope you can bear with me because I have, like, a re. I've had a really bad cold and I still do have a bad cold. And it's not great. It's just not great. The little small detail brush. And we're going to take this pale purple shade. So we're just going to take that colour and hopefully 
it's gonna blend everything out, but it doesn't really look that great. It looks a bit messy now. Going out of my head. Does anyone remember that band? I really discovered them. They're called Tattoo. I don't think they're from the UK or America. I think they're foreign. I'm just using the white shade, by the way, on my brow bone. But they have that song like, all the things she said, all the things she said, running through my head, running through my head. All the things she said. And I used to love it as a kid. And I rediscovered it and I was like, oh my god. This is amazing. Okay, I kind of messed it up now, like that dark, that light shade. Can you see it? It's like a dark line. But who cares? I mean, I should care. But yeah, no, if you remember that band, then you are officially a groovy person. If you don't, well, listen to it. Because it's pretty damn good. I just made purple eyeshadow all over my face. Oh, God. Oh, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. I can't believe how much I've messed up this eyeshadow. It is ridiculous. Even that sounded disgusting. I guess we can just apply like a glittery shade. I mean, there's no purple glittery shade. So what I'm thinking is this blue because I wouldn't personally wear blue like this on a night out either. So I just whack this on. I'm not even gonna cut the crease because you know what, at the moment I like just like adding the shade like into the center of my lid. So we're gonna do eyeliner and today I have this white eyeliner from a collection. I hope I have enough left. I haven't really used it much to be fair. So hopefully we should be okay. So I'm just gonna do your simple wing, basically. I mean, it looks quite colorful. It looks quite creative, but it still looks terrible because I messed up the top of the lid. I meant to be like, you know, good at makeup and here I am messing up a simple look. I'm gonna look so weird by the end of this video. I've just seen myself in the viewfinder. And oh my god. I look like a psychopath. And I don't even have big lashes to cover this up. I'll show you what lashes I have next. This eyeliner isn't the most strong and like pigmented. As you can see, I can hardly see now because this white eyeliner is just like bugging up my life. Although it looks quite strong on this lid, to be fair. It's coming off more purple, <laughs> oh my god. What is wrong with my face? That is a tragedy. As Shani Grimmond would say, that is a problem that cannot be fixed. Or cannot be fucked. Fucked? I'm not swearing, I'm saying fixed. Cannot be fucked. Okay, guys and girls, guys and girls, guys and girls. I thought I'd add in the lash part to it, even though it's not shade, it's a lash. But like, I got these lashes from a friend, like he had them at his house. He didn't know where they came from. So he was like, do you want them? I was like, yeah, I had like good high hopes of them when I first looked at them. Can you see them? Like they look kind of cool. But I wore them, I literally I thought, I was like, yeah. When I looked at them, and then I was like, I put them on, and I was like, oh. Bit of a letdown, really. I mean, that's what they look like in the photo. But they don't look like that in real life. Haven't got any wacky mascara colours either. Sorry, I'm not a big makeup person that gets makeup sent to them. <laughs> I wish I was, but I'm not. So. Just gonna use a black mascara. I'm doing this about a mirror, I feel like this deserves an award, some sort of medal. I mean, doing eyeliner about a mirror would be ultimate skill. I'd probably give that a go. Pop it! Okay, so I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna stick the lash down. Do you see this? I mean, I mean, you can't really, can you? Because I can't. 
there's just nothing. I mean, like, when I even tried my last time, I added mascara to it, and it still didn't do anything. And now I've got blue eyeshadow on my face. <laughs> Loving life. Okay, now the fun part. As you can see, like I said, these lashes don't really... I mean, some people might like the small lash lifestyle. That was a hard word to say. Um, but me, I like the big lashes. The big, dramatic, fluffy lashes. So next we're doing foundation. This isn't my foundation. It's my sister's. I don't have a really dark foundation, so don't tell her that I'm using her foundation. But, um, I mean, she's not even sure if it's foundation or not. She's convinced it's a concealer. Because it has this, like, this applicator. Who knows? But, I like the colour. This is going to be fun. This is going to be so much fun. Oh my word. I'm going to be one orange queen by the end of this vid. And I'm going to love it. Wow, funny times we live in, isn't it? Okay, it's not very full coverage. Oh, this side's better. Because I was dragging it instead of like, oh my God, look at my face. I was dragging it instead of like patting, patting it onto my skin. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my word. If we had a little bit more. She's an orange. She is a glowing orange. Look at the difference from my face to my neck. I love it. Okay, so then we're just going to add a little bit of concealer. I feel like just to, only like a tiny bit. Thank God I'm gonna go buy some more concealer today because I need it. Oh my word, I'm getting more and more orange as the time goes by. This isn't, this concealer isn't even saving me. I don't understand if people can use this color. Like I use a dark color for my fake tan, but like not this dark. My sister has this colour because she mixes it with a I would like a lighter foundation. But still, like it's too dark. <laughs> like I don't know what she's thinking. Hello Cleo. Sorry my cat's in here. So for powder, I'm taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade Natural Beige. My sister bought this for herself, but it was too dark for her, even though it's a normal colour really, but it's quite dark for, for like, for me, but I like using it anyway. So what I do is I just take a bit of a powder and I just dab it, dab it, huh, um, into the lid and then I just apply it all over my face. This should make me look even darker. Unless it makes me look lighter, I don't know. I think it's saving me. My ear's going red. I think from this earring. <laughs> is this in the second piercing hole? Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it or not. But, you know. What can you do? It won't close in this Laura Mercier. Yeah. There we go. See all that powder? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna um, complete the eyes. I'm just gonna literally add um, the purples that I did um, on the lid, on the top lid, onto the bottom lid. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, and the eyes are done. The so next thing we're gonna do is Oh my god, my brush is gonna fall out of the radiator. <gasps> oh my god, it's all a mess, it's all a mess. It's all a mess. We're gonna go on to 
I look terrible. <laughs> We're going to go on to contouring. So I've got the next contour palette here. And I'm going to take this very dark shade to contour with. Not a shade I would normally use to contour with. It's just looking very patchy currently. Not very good at all. <laughs> oh dear. I was trying to make this look look actually good as well, but that uh, hasn't worked out, has it? Oh my god, what have I done? I've just, yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, I had like a floating head, a bot, a bot. Jesus Christ, add some powder or something like that. It's just. That can't be saved unless I use a makeup wipe. Add it onto the forehead. Oh my good lord. What the holy hell have I done? I was going to contour my nose, but forget that. That is just a no from me. I hope I haven't ruined this brush now with dark product all over it. And I was going to bronze, but I don't think I need it. I think I'm... Oh, God, my brushes. I think I'm naturally just bronzed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's just... Let's just leave it there, shall we? Okay, so next thing is blush. I like good blush, but nothing that's like this. Can you see it? I'm just so distracted by the contour. Um, oh dear. So I'm gonna take this dark pink shade. Oh my God. Look how pigmented that is. Oh my good Lord, Lord. This is why I don't use this colour. You see it? It just looks so awful. I look fabulous. As if this is a makeup tutorial that's actually good. I'm going to set my face with the Insta, hashtag InstaFix and Go 2 in 1 setting, 2 in 1 primer setting spray by Rimmel London. Oh. I was like cucumbers. I just can't go over how I look. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. So then, with that same palette, we've got our pink highlighter. There. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I'm not going to use my normal highlighting brush. I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to... I mean, it does look quite cool, to be fair. Can you see it? That is pretty cool. Like that. And then down the bridge of the nose. On the cupid's bow. Next is lips. The final thing is lips. It's just this pink liquid lipstick that I wouldn't really wear. Now that I'm nice and pink, especially on my nose. Let's just add some more pink, shall we? Oh, they smell amazing though. They smell like vanilla. <clears throat> okay. And that's disgraceful. That is disgraceful. This just whole look in general. Just, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 
Ew! Okay, so that is it for today's video. This is the final finished look. I hope you really enjoy it. I think the highlighted pink nose is the bonus, is like the winner of this whole thing. I tried to make this look good, I really did. I thought I was good at makeup, but apparently not. So there goes that thought in my mind. <laughs> oh my god, it was disgusting. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, okay. <sighs> Alright. Okay. That is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm going to take all this off now before I go out. Um, I really hope you enjoyed. Um, please subscribe and like if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know of how stunning I look. Absolutely stunning. Um, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.